today i just want to open your eyes to some of the things which our ancestors our fathers were worshiping which has brought in this stronghold evil foundation some of um, the things people worship is allah simple things like the islam religion allah it is the worship of another god it brings bondage buddha it is it, it is worshiping another god hinduism hindu Vish, vishnu artists of persia krishna of india mitra of persia satanism confucianism mary the worship of mary and saints from the people who are going to catalyze what they don't know is that they are bringing um, a curse upon themselves because god says that worship no other person not even mary not even peter not anybody but only me so if you were once worshiping um these uh idols it is of of, of the devil kumari of india the goddess of and, and zeus in africa people are worshiping things like family idols family stools ancestral spirits some people believe that their dead relatives are still spirits and they have to worship them this because some people are coming from chieftaincy so they worship these tools and river gods um the forest gods and the stone gods the tree god the river gods and because of this river gods that they are worshiping many times the river when they worship such rivers the river that that the marine spirit marries women marries the people in that family and what happens is that they block them from marrying or having children or enjoying their marriage and these are some of the things that go on sometimes too your parents were just into and you also probably you also got yourself into witchcraft it is worshiping foreign gods sorcery fortune telling all these things i'm mentioning it so that if you have been practicing these things you have to know that it is something which you have done in the past or your parents did it or your ancestors did it which has given the legal right for the devil to come into the family to bring that evil foundation and the curse upon the family today as i'm mentioning these things if you have being part of any of these things immediately know it so that when we are praying it you begin to ask for forgiveness or for your sins and the sins of your ancestors some of the things that our ancestors were also worshiping were they were into witchcraft sorcery fortune telling astrology and it is very common people going in to find out their their future through palm reading astrology trying to through the sky to predict what is going to happen to them it is all demonic you are giving demons the right to begin to affect your uh, your family Ouija board Ouija board horoscope horoscope necromancy the worship of dead people some people go to p places whereby they they invoke the dead relatives so that they can speak to them it is all demonic and it has brought a curse into the family freemason society if your relatives are into freemason remember they have brought in and uh, uh, the demons to begin to rule over that family and so the demon will try to oppress you you have to know your right and cast that demon out crystal balling voodoo hoodoo white magic black magic the science of zodiac hypnosis yoga some people think that oh yoga i just do yoga in order to be uh, meditating and to relax yoga if you connect it to the root it is eastern religion and it allows spirits to enter when do, when they are standing in in that yoga um kind of um post they are prostrating themselves like the cobra like the cobra so that spirit of that kundalini it is operating upon you so some of you christians who are into yoga all i'm saying is be careful you are putting yourself under bondage for now you'll be enjoying it temporarily but you realize that these demons will have entrance into your system and begin to manipulate and control and oppress you karate karate oh we are taking our children to karate in the deepest level of karate it is demonic it is very demonic it has they, they use spirits to do these things levitation levitation people levitating mediums mediums astral projection astral projection is one evil traditional practices from people coming to africa and these evil traditional practices many africans are in bondage because when they are doing their naming ceremonies they are still going back to their native uh, families to do it in the traditional way which is not biblical and they begin to give their children to the idols and begin to pour water and do some rituals they are, they, what they don't know that they were sacrificing and initiating their own children into this bondage and that's what your, your parents did to you that's why you are in bondage because especially in africa it's naming ceremony and also funerals and also uh, and their weddings it will marvel you some of the 
the evil demonic traditions that these Africans do. And unfortunately, some Christians will go and be part of it and after that come to the church and do praise and worship. What they don't know is that they themselves were contributors of bringing these bondages into their life. Palm reading. Palm reading will bring demons into your life. Spiritual churches, people went to white garment churches. You know that churches where the people wear white, they worship um, Angel Gabriel, Angel Michael. These are demonic um, um, demons which manifest themselves like angels by their demonic spirit and they give them holy water if in the past you went to a place and they give you holy water or they did incisions in your body and they did incantations on you and bath bathed you in some water you have been given right or you have been initiated into this demonic realm that's why they are having a foothold and a stronghold in your life drinking of holy water the catholic worship the catholic people worship saint mary saint peter and all these things it's demonic what they don't know is that they are putting themselves into bondage we have talked about freemason society confucianism mormonism mormonism is also a, a false religion if you practice it you are allowing these demons to come in christian science christian science is also and demonic islam metaphysics new age believers they believe in strong things and now we also come to this um, new world in this modern world people are now shifting from this ancient uh, worship and now people today are worshiping drugs drugs when you are taking these drugs demons are entering people are worshiping sex going to the internet to watch pornography masturbation homosexuality these are all demons which are now inviting what you don't know is that when your pray your parents were into drugs into sex into fornication adultery and all these things they were inviting these demons into the family to come and oppress and take a stronghold so in modern times you find out that people are worshiping the god of drugs the god of sex the god of being in a gang uh, and violence the god of worshiping celebrity american idol you no know, oprah winfred and people you know just celebrities and people worship them and people have made them their icon and these are christians they will not spend time reading the bible but they will celebrate human beings oh this is my celebrity oh i love him i want to see him oh, uh soap operas and wasting their time worshiping celebrities today these are moon, most of us our idols and demons are visiting us some of us we celebrate we worship our own body uh, money money is the root of all evil people worship their money people will do everything for money but they will not have time for god the worship of money the worship of power uh, power and they want to be you no know, known influential you no know, power people worship gold diamonds jewelry it will marvel you how some people are so oppressed women especially are oppressed with materialism every shoe that comes every bag that comes every new style everything that comes they get themselves engaged and some of these um, modern designs that comes out i'm sorry to tell you they are being designed under the marine world under the city under the world and so when it comes short skirt exposing your breast exposing your part of your body and this woman uh and i just copying bl blindly because of the new fad and they are get what they don't know is that they are putting themselves under bondage no wonder they are oppressing you good uh, ideas people worshiping ideas of philosophies um, philosophies and also ideas that's why when you go to the schools they are teaching our children uh, um, they, cre uh, they don't they don't believe in crazy uh, cre creation but they believe in evolution polluting the minds of our children and demons have taken hold of our children you don't know why they are so stubborn and adamant they don't listen to you because when they go to the university the kind of philosophies that they are teaching them I, one of the most challenging class i took in college was philosophy why because they were challenging my faith they were telling me that why do i believe that jesus christ is the only way whilst the both the muslims hinduism uh, all these people have other ways why am i claiming by the time i left the class my my, my head was no so heated that was the first time i began to take my i began to go back to the bible to really understand my faith because they were almost going to derail me from my faith by challenging my faith with wrong philosophies and ideas and that's what they are challenging our children teaching them evil philosophy it looks very good but it's it's misleading because it's telling them that jesus christ is not the only way there are other ways and so you have to be careful today internet is our idols today football and um uh, football basketball and entertainment and video games and uh, movies are many people's idols these things have brought in demonic strongholds because we have not loved the lord remember this god says that we are coming back we are coming back to uh, the very place 
where God is telling us that you shall not worship any other God because I am a jealous God. Anytime you worship any other God, I am going to um, judge the iniquity of that family to the third and fourth generation. So because most of us have not given our 100% loyalty, worship, and our life to Jesus Christ, that's why the devils and the demons are have hold our lives and our families in hostage and in bondage because we haven't given 100%. God demands nothing that 100% focus on Him. And that is where the true deliverance comes. That's why people are moving from one place to another because they just go in to get delivered and then go back to their normal lifestyle. That you will never experience true life in Christ. Because God says, I demand your only worship. Don't worship any other thing. I demand you full, fully. And once you give your life to Him totally, you will see the glory of the Lord. Prayer schedule for the week. Every, we meet on every Tuesdays and Fridays for prayers. On Tuesdays, we meet just for one hour. We meet at um, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. 9 p.m. Central Time. 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time and 8 p.m. Pacific Time. So 10 Eastern Time, 9 Central Time, 8 Mountain Standard Time and 7 p.m. Pacific Time. Just for one hour on Tuesdays. And on Fridays we meet to fast and pray just like on Tuesday also. But on Fridays it is 3 hours. We meet on 11 p.m. on Fridays, Eastern Time, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and 8 p.m. Pacific Time on Fridays. Remember, on both Tuesdays and Fridays, we do fast. Both Tuesdays and Fridays, we do fast, and we fast from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. That is water fasting. The Bible says that these things go not except through fasting and prayer. So depending on how serious you are, but your what you want to receive from the Lord, join us on Tuesdays and Fridays for fasting and prayer. And God will definitely bring your breakthrough. On Tuesdays, remember it's just for one hour, and on Friday, it is for three hours. And for the fast and if for any reasons you can't do from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. for medical reasons or any reason you can always do it from 6 a.m. to 6 noon or 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. whatever time you can do God searches your heart and just fast and pray and believe the Lord and he will answer your prayers uh, with a prayer line to the whole of this year we have listed our five prayer requests Five things you want the Lord to do for you before the end of the year. List your five prayer requests. When we meet, we give opportunity for us to pray that the Lord will come through for us concerning our five prayer requests. And have faith and pray, believing God, and God will come through for you. So I look forward to you joining us on Tuesdays and Fridays for the fasting and prayer. God answers prayers. These things go not except through fasting and prayer. And also, if you are interested in knowing much about um, deliverance, um, I have a book called Spiritual Diagnosis. Um, this month, we are doing the theme is um, you know, dealing with deliverance. And if you want to know much about this and you don't know much, you don't know about deliverance, then I encourage you to order the book. It is uh, just ten dollars and free postage if you live in the United States and it will help you to really understand uh, what uh, spiritual warfare is all about it's called spiritual diagnosis it helps you to be able to diagnose for yourself your own spiritual problems and to be able to effectively use the Word of God to deal with a problem just as you go to the ho uh, hospital and the doctor has to first diagnose you in order to find out what problem is with you and be able to now treat you when you go you take your car to the mechanic you have to diagnose the car in order to find a fault and then fix it in the same way spiritually to you have to be able to spiritually diagnose your problem and be able to effectively use the word of god to fight against 
whatever you burden cares that the devil has placed upon you. So spiritual diagnosis helps you to um, diagnose your spiritual problem and to effectively use the word of God to address that issue and to be able to overcome whatever challenge you are going through. Spiritual diagnosis, I believe, if you want to know about your spiritual state and how to do spiritual warfare, uh, it's one book you want to order it and it will be of a great blessing to you. So I look forward for, uh, for you joining us on Tuesdays and Fridays for fasting and prayer. God richly bless you and don't stop praying. If you keep on praying, you will grow stronger and stronger as your enemies grow weaker and weaker and you will have dominion and power over your enemies and you will trample them under your feet because Jesus Christ has given you and I the power to walk upon or trample over scorpions and serpents and over all the powers of the enemy and they shall by no means do us any harm. Uh, there's a saying that you know, a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. A prayerless. If you don't pray, you are powerless. You don't have power and demons cannot overcome you. But if you are praying, then you are a danger to the forces of darkness because you carry power. Prayer gives you the avenue to connect with divinity, God. And God releases the power to you for you to overcome and subdue all the works of the enemy under your feet. You are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. Don't be intimidated by the devil. God bless you.